Hello, it's Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, and I'm here today to do a small mini episode, a catch and release Rome edition. Uh, we just arrived in Rome yesterday, and it is absolutely scorching. 90, I think it was 97 to 99 degrees yesterday when we landed. Uh, very hot, uh, but very beautiful, and a great excuse to have all the gelato in Rome. So let's go ahead and get started with our catch and release. Um, we walked after we dropped off our bags we took a little walk we are near the uh, spanish steps which is fantastic and on the way between the spanish steps and uh, the fountain of trevi there was uh, an english language bookstore so we had to go in right and um, as we were there i found a couple really great things that i just wanted to share uh, first the thing that I grabbed was the last of the Faber 90 series. Uh, this is 20 little tiny, tiny one short story uh, books uh, that Faber put out, Faber and Faber, the publishing company, put out for their 90th anniversary. This is Claire Keegan's The Forester's Daughter. Uh, really lovely cover on that. So this will complete my edition, which I'm thrilled about. Then I found this lovely reissue done in 2007 of 84 Charing Cross Road. Uh, I usually get, uh, get these when I find them because I love to give them out, but I don't have this edition and so happy to finally have that for my collection. Also for my collection, uh, I found the UK uh, issue of Rachel Cusk's book. This is The Country Life. Um, and this is done by the same artist that did the covers for the reissue that just came out for Outline Transit and Kudos. Ooh. And next is Arlington Park, also by Rachel Cusk, by this with the same cover theme. So I'm really happy that I that I have all of those now. And I just have two that I'll be searching for of Rachel Cusk. The one about motherhood and the one about her affair. And I can't remember the names of those, but I'll be on the hunt for them. Then on Facebook, a friend of mine asked if I had read any Iris Murdoch, because uh, I guess she was just featured in the New York Times. And I'm afraid to say that I hadn't read a lot of hers. And then look what I found. I found The Italian Girl, um, which is perfect, a really lovely size. So I'll probably be able to knock it out while I'm here. Um, this is uh, Vintage Murdoch. So I just love the, their series. And then my husband found the second in the Matthew Shardlake uh, series that we are reading together. And this is Dark Fire. I'm trying to catch the light there. Isn't that lovely? So really happy to uh, be continuing our buddy read. We might try to read a little bit of this while we're here. So that's what I caught. Now what I'm releasing. Uh, so I, the book, the flight was 12, about 12 hours long, and I actually finished two books while I'm on, while I was on the flight, so thrilled with that. Uh, one was a mystery, I'll talk about that in my week of reading if the Wi-Fi is strong here and I can load this quickly. But the second thing that I read, uh, I did this for the Reading Women Month. Uh, they're doing a bingo, and I'll link to my list of books to read uh, video that I that I did earlier. Uh, this is a book that was given to me by a co-worker uh, from Australia when he found out that I was interested in Australian literature. So I was very thrilled that he he had this on him and he just gave it to me. Number one, really thrilled with his the types of books that he was reading given that given this was what he handed to me. It was Helen Garner's Monkey Grip. So this is a book about a woman who is in the throes of addiction. Her addiction is love and sex, um, but she's in love with a heroin addict. Uh, the narration, it's well, very well written. Uh, the, it throws you into the present moment. Uh, and there's, so there's no backstory. You don't get a sense of what brought this woman to this place of where she's uh, in this in this constant chase for love and uh, and sex, so that's a little frustrating. Uh, so because and and there's a lot of the the cycles of of addiction where there's the where's the start of it and then and then the propulsion and in, in, into and descent into full blown addiction, the the bad behaviors that come with that, then the then the 
trying to come out of it, trying to go to rehab, uh, and then falling back in the same pattern. So if that's something that you're interested in and, you, and a deep exploration of that, this might be a good book for you. Uh, this is set in the 70s, so there's a lot of heat, the, the hedonism of, of the moment and the freedom that comes from that. Uh, I could see this being a very polarizing book. I'm very interested in looking at reviews that came out of, of this because uh, I know Helen Garner is a very well-respected Australian author. So I'll be looking for reviews. I ultimately, I didn't, there was only really two passages that I found enlightening. Other than that, there wasn't a lot here. I, I ended up skimming a lot of it near the end. Uh, so I will be maybe leaving it in this lovely bookshelf of books that I cannot read because they're all in Italian. Um, so that's it for me. Just wanted to make a quick little little video to say hello, check the Wi-Fi, and if the Wi-Fi is good, uh, be on the lookout for my week of reading wrap-up. That's it. Ciao.